then he he spoke about his uh, his uh, business partner for the last 51 years that's Charlie uh, I, I mean Charlie is not that famous but he's very dear to him he's I mean both of both Mr. Buffett and Mr. Charlie did lots of businesses buying and selling together and and he did explain why uh, why they were so strong because both of them are two different people and they never argued even once in their life they had different views they put the views together and that's when uh, they make these profitable decisions when you're an investor always think what is your ROI or the return on investment or return on asset you have what would gold give you nothing but you you look at the gold and gold looks at you you wouldn't get a scratch out of it but imagine a billion acres of farming land how much can you grow how much can you how productive can that land be to you so he was explaining examples of that level and we were all like wow he knows the numbers he knows what he's doing and that's why he's right top there and he was after all he was so humble he still drives his own car he has the old cadillac i think lots of things you can look at him and when you're so rich make a difference to the society and that's his main aim before he dies so i think that's that's so wonderful i mean he has so many rich values we can yeah. when he was diversified he was talking about business he was talking about family about culture he was talking about berkshire's culture how they've been building for the last 30 years and simplicity